Candida albicans. We see this all the time. People are always asking me about Candida. So I think it's a good video to do here and a short run here for you to look at the whole world of fungus. So let's start out this video talking about Candida, which is a yeast. Now, years ago when I had health food stores, we sold brewer's yeast and we sold nutritional yeast because that's how people thought they would get their B vitamins is through fungus, which is true. Remember, you get a lot of your vitamins from bacterium and fungus and stuff like this in the body. Candida is, a, um, is really a, a part of the, um, it's a yeast which is part of the fungal community and that truly is a fermentation family. You'll find that this is more involved in sugar fermentation than anything, and that's tied to the adrenals, the inability to metabolize sugars. Uh, with weak adrenals, that, that happens to all of us. And then if you eat starch, you're really going to have trouble. And notice those that have candida crave starches and cheeses. They crave fermented foods. Well, they, I'll say their fungus do, but when you have these microbes, it's hard to differentiate your desire between their desire. We blame the little creatures. Of, of nature for everything. You notice that? Man blames everybody but himself. And it's time we stop and start looking this way. Oh, what am I doing that's creating these problems? So let's look at this a little bit with the candida, which I'm going to use the word fungus because candida, yeast, moles, all part of this. Warts are probably more viral, but still you have to understand what virals are for. You have to understand what bacteriums are for. We blame these guys for everything under the sun and, uh, and fungus. So let's look at the world of fungus for a minute and then maybe we'll bring our other little friends in with us. But the world of fungus, you know, when, when we look at creation, we find the activity of birth, life, and death. And nothing escapes that. It's simply a process of forming atoms, taking these atoms and have a certain duration of atoms, and then how we break and rearrange these atoms into other forms. We have birth, life, and death. And foods go through that same process of birth, life, and death. All of them do. We go buy a, 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 a banana, and as we watch the brown spots come on the peel, we know that it's going through the cycle of birth, life, and death, the cycle of life. So, when we start the process of death, though, we need help. And the process of death, as we have, enter into that, whether it's foods, whether it's the human body, we have the little creatures of nature coming in to help us. And that's what their job is. Bacterium loves sewage. Uh, you've got worms for cells. You've got all kinds of uh, fungus for carbohydrates, carbon. You, you know, you've got proteins, which are very bacterial. So you've got all these different creatures to help. Virals help coming in to identify weak cells in the body. Fungus is involved in fermentation. Fermentation is the process of decay of carbohydrates. Your fruits, your berries, your melons, your salads, and things like this. And carbohydrates, carbon can be found in meats, can be found in cheeses, it can be found everywhere. And of course, bread is the, uh, the epitome of carbon since it's complex or poly, died of poly, meaning two or more saccharides, which are sugars, and makes it a complex sugar. So when people blame fruit for things which are simple monosaccharides of fructose, that's not the problem. Sucrose, maltose, dextrose, those are more problematic because they're complex carbons. They're complex multiple chain carbons. So what we have is complex sugar. Now, what gland in your body is responsible for sugar metabolism? The adrenal glands. Cortisol is well known to be involved in sugar metabolism. So, when you're looking at fermentation, there has to be someone responsible for that process, an inner fungus. We should have a natural healthy growth of fungus in the body, just a natural process of fermentation overrides and stuff like that. 
uh, the body keeps it all in check just fine, no problems. What we're facing is a society of major weak adrenal glands and high polysaccharides. So we, somebody said grains were good for you. Now, in desolate places, in arid places, when you don't have fresh foods, you still, you know, we ship out all the rice, we ship out all this. This is, I mean, it's keeping these people alive, no question, but it's also creating bowel problems. It's also creating heavy fungal problems, just a lot of problems, gluten problems. And it's just that we need fresh, baby. We need fresh and alive foods. So when you have weak adrenal glands and you're consuming polysaccharides, you're going to invite a lot of fungus problems in the body. There's no question about it. And that's what you see. Because you, you cannot metabolize that level of sugar, you're going to have a lot of fermentation. We also get a lot of fermentation because we mix proteins and starches. So when you mix proteins and starches, you know they don't digest because proteins require uh, hydrochloric acid and pepsin. And then when you're getting into your starches, you got amylase, tylen, and the like. So you've got two opposing digestive enzyme issues going on here. And you always have putrefaction and fermentation. You literally almost stop digestion. For those of you who are, that are getting very healthy, just go out and have you a protein starch. Eat you a sandwich. Of course, you're not going to kick your butt a little bit, but you're going to feel that sitting there and sitting there and sitting there in your stomach. And during that, you start to feel bloaty gassy. That's fermentation or putrefaction with the meats. Each one of these fermentation or putrefaction requires an intermediary, whether it be bacteria, fungus, on your kitchen counter, uh, put yourself a piece of cheese, a piece of bread, even, even whole grain, I don't care, and a handful of grapes. All right, now, if fruits are so bad with fungus, how come I don't see any fungus growing on the grapes, but uh-oh, bread and cheese getting mold all over them. Mold is fungus, right? So you got mold and, and all over the bread and cheese. Why? Because they're fermented foods. The grapes will get mold on them. When? Exactly. When they start to die, when they start to ferment, when they're starting to give up their atoms so we can use them for other things. So don't blame the fruits. Blame the breads and cheeses, if anything, but go to causative factors, adrenal glands, sugar metabolism. They are stating that you should eat lots of meat and veggies, but no sugar or fruit. Dr. Morris, please clear up this issue. It does not resonate with me. Peace and love. Well, you know what? Uh, those of us that are the truth seekers have to understand the truth of fungus and what role they play in our society. And that it's obvious. We've discussed this many times. And, of course, the role they play is fermentation. The problem isn't with them. The problem is with humans. The problem is people's adrenal glands. You know, if you look at most people, their adrenal glands are down. In actuality, most adrenal glands that are down have cortisol problems. Then you see the blood sugar problems. A lot of times it's not easily readable, but tend to have low blood sugar first and then high blood sugar, hypoglycemia to hyperglycemia. But with that, what that means is that no matter what sugar you consume, whether it's a simple sugar like fructose or glucose, or it's a complex sugar like uh, sucrose, dextrose, or maltose. So either way, you don't metabolize sugars well in either one. Especially the complex sugars, you're going to see real high blood sugars. But even the simple sugars, you get a little, a little of this. But um, it also means that... Uh, you can't metabolize these sugars, and so fermentation becomes more real. And so what happens with weak adrenal glands and sugar metabolism problems is sugar that's unmetabolized, and therefore uh, fermentation comes in. And what, uh, uh, what was it, uh, what was it? They just talked about uh, putting uh, um, uh, fruit on top of oatmeal. Fermentation. Uh, who's going to help with that? You can't keep these microbes out. 
I don't know what this whole thing about, I'm going to kill all the candida in me and I'll be done with this. No, you need to get all the overgrowth and everything out of you, admittedly. But you're always going to have a level of fungus and bacterium in the body that's essential to you. It's how you get nutrients, by the way. God fixed this just right. So when you have a balance of microbes, you get good nutrition. So a lot of your vitamins are created from bacterium and things like this. So this idea, uh, and the same thing with silver, taking colloidal silver. I mean, that you have to be careful about it. Plenty of great herbs for this. Plenty of great herbs. Parasite M, is a, is, look at all the herbs in Parasite M. You got Paul Diarco, Cat's Claw is good. Uh, definitely your, your Black Walnut Halls. All of these things are really well. Tansy, there's all kinds. There's just all kinds of great antifungals, antibacteriums. We don't care about the bacteriums. No, really, the fungus that make people happy. The problem is with our diets and with our adrenal glands, not with the fungus themselves. We're blaming them for, for being the problem when it's us that's the problem, honey. So get, your, get on working on yourself. Get your adrenals up to where you're metabolizing sugars. Go to simple sugars instead of complex sugars. I mean, the other thing is we're starch eaters. And we eat starch like crazy. The problem with starch is too much sugar. We can't even metabolize that level of sugar. So we're going to have natural fermentation, like it or not. So if you want to get rid of candida, you get rid of the complex sugars. Central, simple sugars are a central issue. Remember, we talked about that. you got to get with that understanding that you have to have simple sugars or you won't be on the planet. That's, that's the problem. They're your carbon but complex sugars the body can't eat. So equate complex sugars with protein because they're both at the same level. They're not usable by the human body. If we go simple, simple proteins is simply called amino acids. Simple sugars are simply called fructose and galactose and glucose. So that's at the level we can use them. When we complex all this chemistry, we can't use it. And then you're going to invite more bacterium for the, the uh, proteins and more fungus for the sugars. So you just have to detox, get your diet straightened up, get rid of these sort of things. Notice that when you have fungus, you create fermented foods, breads and cheeses. That's because these are fermentation people. They love fermentation. They don't like healthy fruit. You can't get mold to grow on a healthy piece of fruit until it starts to what? Ferment. Then you see mold all over it. Fermentation will happen to bread because it's already fermented. You'll see mold growing on bread and cheese way before you see it growing on fruit. So don't blame fruit for fungus. Blame your cheeses and your breads and your adrenal glands. And so simply, you know, defungal yourself. Clean that out and get your lymph system. Those that have fungus nails and toes, notice you're not going to completely get rid of them until you get your lymph system moving. Remember, your sewer system. In all sewer systems, you have fungus and bacterium. Thank you. That's, just, that's in your septic tank. That's everywhere. You can see it in a dead animal because you have carbohydrates breaking down, you have carbon breaking down, you've got proteins breaking down. So you're going to have a variety of, myriad, uh, of microbes involved in that process to get us those atoms again. Remember, we need those atoms. Do you have protocols for systemic candida that is in the lungs, hypothyroid, adrenals, and now low T at 210? Uh, NGs affecting the endocrine system. Uh, systemic candida. Get your adrenals and kidneys. Move your lymph. Move the move the culturing medium, the terrain. Fix the the sugar metabolism problem. Stay away from complex carbohydrates, which is starches, because your body's having a hard time breaking them down. Fermentation causes uh, uh, candida. Causes the need to have fungus. Understand what funguses are. Whether it's yeast, fungus, moles. Uh, whatever. Understand what they are and what their job is in life. They're involved in fermentation. If you can't break down chemistry, God has little helpers too. It's that simple. And so we're a product of grain eating. Oh, grains are good for you. That was Harvey Kellogg maybe, but that's not what God's saying. Uh, you really need to turn around and get living food. We've adapted, and, and I know there's places that depend upon grains heavily, but we need to help those areas with pyramid greenhouses and fresh fruits and veggies and get these people healthy again. So easy to clean candida out. Get your thyroid up. You can use a glandular for hypo and use the adrenals and go after that. Clean your lymph system up, and uh, you'll be okay there. When you see detox, you'll keep digging deeper into the body and bringing out deeper beds of candida. I mean, you you'll, you you can take parasite ever, some parasitic, and you feel like you got them. You don't crave starches or cheeses anymore. You do pretty good. 
And then as you dig deeper, you get those things coming back. And it's like, you know, I've always said that the body's kind of layered. So as you keep digging deeper and deeper, just like a backhoe digging deeper into the ground, you're digging deeper into your deepest interstitial areas of the body. And you're going to pull up different things, different barrels, different things. So your, your stats can go a little like this once in a while. Okay. So what? What is your fastest and best way to heal candida in the vaginal area? Again, douching. Douching. You can use some salve if you got it on the outer. Uh, I cannot handle these infections anymore. Yeah, it's the only way to do that. You don't parasite him and live on it for about three months. Definitely going to help you out with that. Move your lymph. You know, you got to clean the lymph and clean that. I have an infection each month despite cutting out sugar and flour. You can't cut out sugar and get rid of That has nothing to do because you have carbohydrates and proteins. You know, you have carbohydrates almost in every food. Every food has a little of everything, and that's not the problem. The problem is your metabolism of carbohydrates, that is your adrenal glands, or too much sugar in terms of starch, and you, most people can't metabolize complex sugars, so they end up getting fungus to help them. You know, fungus is just part of the fermentation family. Uh, but detox cleans all this up. Now, I would douche with a Hill All Tea. You want to douche for two weeks every night with a Hill All Tea. That'll clean that vaginal wall. But remember, get your kidneys filtering, sweetheart, and pull this lymph. But you want to start douching with that. That's why I created the Hill All Tea. That'll help clean that area, too. This is just your lymph system backed up all through you. It sounds like you have fungal infection all through you as well. It's just, it's just the nature of beast. Clean that out and you'll be okay there.